Hey guys, I'm Callum, this is English Shooting. Welcome back to the channel, and let's get into the video. Following my review of the Core Essentials Everyday Carry Belt, where I did reference my competition belt, I thought it was about time to actually go through and take you through my competition setup. So I have my two-part setup. This is good for pistol, it's good for rifle, and if you're shooting a mag-fed shotgun, you'll also be wanting to look at a two-part belt as well. And I have my shotgun competition rig. This is my dedicated shotgun rig. It's not used for anything else. Now, this is gonna be covered in a separate video, which will appear above. So if you wanna go and learn about shotgun purely, then check out that video. But for this one, it is just gonna be the two-part rifle and pistol. Again, it can be used for shotgun, but I shoot a tube-fed shotgun, so I'm not interested in, in mag-feds. So why have I gone for this setup and what is this setup? So the two-part belts generally will have an inner and an outer giving you the two parts. Now, this inner is Velcro fronted, which is what you would loop through your normal trousers. So you put this on effectively like any other belt. With the outer part, it has a Velcro inner layer, which then connects onto the inner belt. So once you've got that inner belt on, all you have to be able to do is you know, put it around you on that on that inner and the Velcro is going to attach to itself and keep it nice and secure. There's some other properties of these belts that also help with tension and rigidity and that's, it's got the Velcro mating points there. So that's gonna keep it nice and stiff, but then you can also get the security buckles or your, you know, sometimes they're little bits of Velcro or elastic. And then you can just put those over the belt and that locks everything in place. So it stops it from coming apart. So it's not going to come loose in that way. And then it also gives a little bit of tension between that Velcro so that it also doesn't slide off. These are incredibly secure and they need to be because you're gonna be usually mounting quite a lot of gear. Traditionally, you are gonna have one belt for pistol or one belt for rifle, but that gets quite expensive. It's more gear to carry around. A lot of people will use quick detach. There's a lot of different systems. But of course, I'm running the Maglode click system. At the moment, this is set up with rifle pouches, but the beauty of a quick detach system is that it's completely universal. So this is the bare bones belt, and I have these attachments in various different places for each different discipline I'm gonna use this belt for. The only other addition on here is actually the mounting plate for my double alpha pistol holster. We will be talking about that in a sec, but everything else you see is Maglode. This is the Maglode two-part stiffy belt. It gets its name, the stiffy, because of how rigid and stiff it is. Again, you're gonna be doing quite dynamic sports with this, dynamic disciplines within shooting, so you don't want things flopping about, coming loose. It doesn't install much confidence as you're moving around a stage if things are bashing about on you. And also when you go to grab for your equipment, you want it to be where you left it. All about that muscle memory. So with the click system, you have your QRBs, which attach to your belt. So these are screwed into place. It's got that backing plate. So those are clamped into place, they're not going anywhere. And then you have various different size attachments. These are the QRL, they're the lowest profile. So they're incredibly slim, they take up minimal space and they can just click right in there. And it's got a little catch at the bottom there, which is what you press outwards and then that releases it, allowing you to slide it off. So for rifle, I would have at least three pouches. I know I've only got two here, but you don't really need that much more on your belt. You just need to be able to hold your magazines, which these do very well. These are actually the Hopner and Schumer Kydex holsters. You can use a variety of different ones. It's really down to personal preference. These are quite basic as mag pouches go. 
I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on mag pouches. If it holds it, if it does the job, then it's, it's gonna be good. The only a bit of adjustment that you have in these is that you've got this rubber bung which you can tweak the tension. I prefer to have them a little grippier just so your mag doesn't fall out as you're doing a long run. So it's not impossible to get out, but it's gonna grip onto the magazine well enough that you're not gonna lose it on a stage. We've also got on the security buckle there, we do have another QRB plate built in. So this allows you to attach various attachments. You could, in theory, put a mag pouch there. I know some people like to wear a pouch right at the back, but I actually have a breech flag holder for it. So within IPSC and 3Gun, you're gonna be running a breech flag. You're gonna need it for safety. Just clicks in and then you've got a hole to be able to mount your breech flag. There is a little bit of discussion, maybe argument about the orientation of your belt. So I, I have it in this orientation. You've got the front and the rear. Some people like to switch that up. They like to have the buckle at the front. That can be for ease of putting it on. That could just again be personal preference, but personally I prefer to have the, the buckle and that attachment at the back because I don't want anything at the front in case you're bending over, crouching over. I just personally find it more comfortable and you know, it's something you get used to even fiddling around behind your back. You get used to it. it, it's not really an issue. But yeah, I can chop and change this for a rifle stage. You know, if it's a really short stage, you should always have a backup magazine just in case, but it might be, thinking I want to go really lightweight I don't want to have all the gear on there so you can just strip it and down uh, and have the one in terms of the pouches again the only addition to the the QRL is that I've got the drop link that just drops the magazine a little lower on the body just making it a bit more ergonomic to grab so yeah you can chop and change it within within discipline but of course I'm using this as a pistol rig as well I'll show you how easy it is to set up so I've got some of my what we like to refer to as double charlie mag pouches these are a inspired design from Double Alpha, but significantly cheaper. Uh, and because I don't do a huge amount of pistol that I didn't want to spend a load of money. So I think I've got these off of the web, but they're pretty much Double Alpha copies. They're certainly not as high quality, but for me, they do the job. So you know, just like that, I've changed from my rifle magazine pouches to my pistol magazine pouches. The only other thing which takes a little bit longer and this, this is why I leave this double alpha plate on there to mount the holster, is that it reduces the faffing that is required. But it's literally to mount the pistol holster on there, it's one screw and you just need one Allen key. Now, anybody that's shooting, you should have an Allen key set in your range bag, so that's not a huge problem. I tend to have two or three, just in case. But just like that, I've now put the double alpha uh, holster on there. Now, I've gone for the Alpha X. There is also the Race Master. I've purely gone for this under the advisement of both Paul and Connors. It does seem to be the most popular holster on the market, and it also features the interchangeable inserts, which is incredibly handy. So this at the moment is set up for a 2011, and that's because the last time I was using it, it was for Action Air, so I've got the High Kappa 2011 and it fits in there. You've got the lock, I've got the upgrade there, so it's the enlarged lock lever from Magload that just makes it easier to be able to flick the holster into lock or open. So in its lock position, your gun's not going anywhere. Very important for three gun where you may be running around with your pistol, or there can sometimes be IPSC stages where you wanna keep it holstered while you move. But you saw how quick and easy it was right then to completely change the rig from rifle to pistol. And I like that versatility. Even with three gun matches, you may have just a, a rifle and a shotgun stage. You may just have a you know, pistol and a rifle. So you'll be constantly chopping and changing your rig depending on what the stage requires. But even for IPSC, where you ha will have a dedicated pistol match or a dedicated rifle match, it's just nice to have all of my equipment in the range bag and I can set it up pretty much on the range as I get there. 
So yeah, there's loads of different flavors in terms of your setup. You can go for the likes of the Safari Land, Quick Detach. There's loads of different belt manufacturers. You've got Ghost, obviously, using the Maglode, the Double Alpha, do their two-part belt. But this is the sort of setup I would say is going to be optimum for a lot of people. Incredibly versatile, having that Quick Detach. Again, it actually saves you in the long run. Whilst the attachments are a little bit more money, you only need to buy once and cry once, and then you have one rig for all different purposes. In terms of the light difference, in terms of the range of click that we have, these are the QRAs from Maglode. So they're actually on a ball joint, so you're able to position them exactly how you want in the exact orientation so greater flexibility but again these are going to fit on the qrls they're going to fit on the qras the whole click range so really that's a real quick and dirty video of my full pistol and uh, mini rifle rig whilst i said i don't use this for shotgun in terms of ipsc shotgun of course with three gun i am going to be mounting caddies to this as well that's probably the heaviest thing apart from perhaps the, um, the pistol and the holster is the heaviest thing that i'm going to be putting on these belts but the two-part system again with the inner velcro and then the outer velcro it's just absolutely solid as long as you make sure there's you know a good contact with all of the Velcro, they don't go anywhere and everything stays firm and solid on you, which is exactly what you need for any sort of practical shooting disciplines. So there we go. If you have any questions about this rig, about any of the, the choices that I've made, then please use the comment section below and I'll get back to uh, everyone that wants to ask any sort of question and thank you very much for watching this video i hope you found it useful and informative if you have please hit that like button and please make sure you're subscribed for future videos and of course as always guys i hope to see you soon harder harder harder